Recently I saw these two awesome effect tutorials from two channels I love. This one is from the Hyperplex channel, and it's a light that follows your mouse. This is so smooth, look at how cool this is. The other one is from the Fireship channel, where he shows us how to create and animate SVG shapes like this one. This opens so many doors, and it got me thinking, can I use these two effects to create something new? Well, I know I can try. First, I'll go to this HiK app and click on the blob generator. This can generate random blob SVGs for me. I think I want to make it square. And I don't need this background. Now let me save the SVG and paste its contents in a React component. Let me just delete here a few things I don't need. Alright, we have something on the screen. Now for the animation, I'll use Framer Motion. After I install it and import it into the component, I can change this path tag into a motion path, and now I can add an animation for it. I will add the initial path here, and then I'll go back to the app and make a new blob for the animation. This time I don't even need to save it. I'll just inspect it and copy this path. This is all I need. Now I'll add it to the animation. Let me do it one more time, because I want three different shapes. Nice, it's animating. But I want this animation to repeat indefinitely. Hmm, okay, close. But I need to fix this repeat loop to go back and forth. What can I do about that? Maybe this repeat type can help. And I'll set it to reverse. Nice, that worked. How about I also add an easing curve to make it smoother? <laughs> okay, let me make it slower. That's better. And how about I also animate the fill color? It's starting to look pretty cool, huh? Now let me wrap it into a div and add a 40 pixel blur to it. Hmm, let's make it 80. Yeah, that's better. Now I think I should add more interactivity to it. So let me add a state for the mouse position and I'll make a function that updates that state based on a mouse event. And of course, I need to set a listener to make sure this function gets called every time the mouse position changes and I'll also remove the listener when the component gets unmounted. This empty list is to tell use effect to run only once when the component gets mounted. Now I can wrap the SVG into a motion div and animate it to follow the mouse. Oh, the position is a little off. We are using the mouse position relative to the top left corner of the screen, but I want it relative to the center of the wrapper div. So how can I get the information I need from the div? First I'll create a reference object, then I can grab the bounding client rect from the ref. This contains all the information I need. The center of the container for the x-axis would be the left plus half of the width. And for the y-axis, it would be the top plus half of the height. Now to get the distance between the mouse and the center, all we need to do is subtract one from the other. And now I can use these variables in the animation. Hmm, starting to look good. I'm not quite done with it yet, but if you're enjoying the content, please let me know by leaving a like and subscribe if you want to watch my future videos. Okay, let's go back to the effect. I think I don't want it to actually follow the mouse like this. I just want it to be slightly attracted to it. So let me divide this effect by 10. Nice, but I feel that the stop is too sudden here, so let me just add an ease out to the animation. And I think that's it, let me try it out on my startup's landing page. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's so cool to see the evolution of this page. This is how it looked in the beginning, then it turned into this, and then this, and now we have this. This is why I think you should start by putting your worst work out. It's a lot easier to improve something that's bad than it is to create something good. And yeah, if you like this video, I think you will also like my video on 10 tailwind tricks you need to know. There's some cool stuff in there, I hope you like it. And that will be it, see you in the next one. Janne.